Living History, World War II Stories is told by those who were there. Somebody used to say, well, uh, did you have your, your uh, uh, kills point painted on them? You just had numbers on them, that's all you had. You didn't have anything else because uh, they were going, a lot of them were going as fast as you were uh, uh, flying. I mean, you, yeah. you'd lose something uh, every flight or else it'd come in and punctured with enough holes, they'd have to take it aside and rebuild it. And uh, the uh, Japanese at night would come in with their ships. The time that I really was scared was when they started that shelling. Oh, I, you don't know where, you know. Uh, what you do is you started digging deeper trenches and all that, and we even put sheets of iron over the top of them if we could get them, uh, because that's shrapnel. And it, well, one, one squadron came in and they were there that night and they hadn't had a chance to dig in too much, and they lost the, they lost the, the, the skipper, the exec, and another man, and then the operations officer had to take command of the, of the squadron. Uh, if you met those that plane head on, uh, that would be the last shot you'd ever get at them the day because you'd never see them again because the speed of the new Bettys was so close to ours. So what you do is you would get up and get up altitude is what that was the name of the game. And if you had time enough so that you could have enough altitude, why if they're coming this way, you come this way, see, and then you roll like this, and you and, and you get this thing. You follow me? Mm -hmm. See? So you're hitting them up in here and then coming right through. You're kind of raking it through the plane, yeah. Uh -huh. And then you, you go down and you try to rake it long enough so that you just go by them going down. Uh, if you're going to do any good, you need to get the bombers. So that was our first thing. That wasn't to go out and chase around and get the zeros. In fact, you hoped that you could get the bombers before they even made up their mind to come at you. Yeah. Your aggressive fighting was against the bombers because that's who was hurting the people on the ground. That's the first thing they tell you if, when you land and everything. Get up and, you know, goodbye, get up and get those bombers. So <laughs> I went in and uh, landed and uh, uh, they, I went. The guy, the guy helped me out of the plane. I went in the tent and I, my, my temperature went to 104. Mm -hmm. They sent me back for a short time and then I came back anyway. You can, you can revive yourself pretty fast from if, if you get quinine. The fact of the matter is if you had quinine, it, it never would have happened. But we weren't oh, we were using the Atterburn. Oh, yeah. yeah, but uh, you, you take the... Uh, uh, I had lunch, uh, dinner one night when we were in... Uh, Esprito Santo with an old uh, uh, plantation, Frenchman. In fact, do you ever remember the, uh, did you ever see the South Pacific? Yes. Uh -huh. Remember the, well, he was the, that Frenchman was the one that uh, Michener took it over. Yeah, it was called Frenchy Laborde was his name. Uh -huh. And of course he wasn't any H.O. Pinza. <laughs> right at supper when we were there, he had a little bottle and uh, we asked him what it was, and he says, that's my teeny, teeny, they call it. And that was what the thing, and if you, got, if you took that, you wouldn't get the malaria while you were there. But we didn't have it at the time. In the, okay, the zeros, was that just kind of like a dogfight? I mean, just, just planes going every which way, and you're just that's shooting? Right. Well, if you saw one, that's fine. If you didn't, you hope you, know, you just didn't have one behind you. You know, that's what it amounted to. The uh, best evasive action, if you knew they were on your tail or something, uh, and it was to put your thing into a slip, cut your throttle, if you were real close, see, like that, and then they'd overshoot you. Then you could come right on them.
You may contact the Palm Springs Air Museum at 760-778-6262 for more information concerning the Veterans History Project. We're happy to interview any veteran or civilian who participated in any of our country's military conflicts and will provide a DVD of the interview for the family.